Edwards is a player known for his moves. Sims Edwards is five for five from three-point range in the second half. How about that circus play? And then from long range, and he is dialed in. That one outside the area code. stuck around with the sticky fingers. Sims Edwards leads the Missouri Valley Conference in steals and is fifth nationally. He's become a shutdown defender, and by that I mean he's not a guy who's getting steals because he's gambling. He's playing good position defense and just coming up with the ball. Uh, we've been able to put him on the opposing team's main guys at times, and he's completely taken him out of the flow of the game. Sims Edwards continues to give the Braves solid production at the offensive end, too, trying not to rely as much on the three while bringing leadership to the Braves. Luckily, he just happens to be a psychology man. That's really the mentality of this whole team, and um, I feel like um, if, I, if I keep that, that mindset, it carry over to other guys, and, and we'll be all right. Dyrica Sims Edwards ended a great career at Bradley University. As a senior, he was named the Defensive Player of the Year of the Missouri Valley Conference and, later, CollegeInsider.com mid-major. Top Defender of the Year. The 6'3 combo guard led the MVC in steals and was ranked ninth nationally with an average of 2.5 steals a game. Sims Edwards has been the main reason why Bradley has doubled the win output compared to the previous season. Northern Iowa up by seven. A little pressure by the Panthers after the made free throw. It's kind of a little disruption, and they'll go back into their man defense. No, oh, they're going to take a little look at a zone here, Tom. Sims Edwards shoots one from outside, it goes down. And Showing Walt, his range. Walt Lemon Jr. went right through the seam of that Northern Iowa zone and created that basket for Sims Edwards. Sonnen, he'll try. There it is, Mark Sonnen hits his first three of the afternoon. Well, that is just too easy in a basket for the Panthers. They're gonna have to lock out on that three-point line. Sims Edwards working on James, and he's successful there. Sims Edwards with his second basket, did a little one-on-one -on -one there, just great upper body strength. The 
Sycamore's resume. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something else. This Northern Iowa team could win the tournament. They are, they are a scary team to go up against. They can just grind out a game anytime. But how about Illinois State? Absolutely. There's another team. There's a number of teams that can sweep through this tournament. But they don't want to be in that seat where you have to play four games. Simpson Edwards gets the lid off for the Braves. That's a big bucket there for Dyrikas Sims Edwards. Well, we've seen Dyrikas Sims Edwards do it. That's a 10 0 run by the Braves. Sims Edwards with another steal. That'll make it 12 0. It's a 7 point game at Bradley. Their shots were very easy in the first half of the Panthers, but definitely a different type of racing. And Sam Edwards picks another one. Kick it with the basket. Lead is 11 for UNI. Sims Edwards with a foot on the line, no. Tipped up in the air, and it's Eastman. When we talked about live ball turnovers that Bradley has turned into points. That one is a, are you going to set your defense for the Panthers and make it a little more difficult for Bradley to score? Sims Edwards, the turnaround goes. Boy, the senior, uh, Peoria, with a tough baseline shot. His upper body is so strong. That one knocked away. And Lemon with another theft. Sims Edwards for three. Here they come again. The Bradley Braves have cut it to single digits. Nine point game. Again, points off of steals by that dynamic duo of Sims Edwards and Lemon Jr. And Jackson needs another timeout. Just one timeout remaining for Northern Iowa. You can see it there well, ben on the screen. Used them early to try to stop that onslaught. Sims Edwards continues it. The Tyreek is feeling it from the outside. Pick it relatively quiet. Did not score in the first half. And there's a guy with some huge potential. Gives a real physical presence with Bradley inside as again Northern Iowa shows a little bit of that three-quarter court soft press after made free throws. James, a 73% free throw shooter, makes two big ones there. And Anthony James, we mentioned he was one of these four Panther seniors that were freshmen. That Sweet 16 team is in his groove. on fire from the outside. Tyrikas Sims Edwards. With 19 points, three of four from three-point range. Three down the stretch here in this second half. Blooded jumper there. That was great patience by the Panthers. Did not get themselves rattled, executed. Easy three for Cook. Cook 10 points away from a thousand. And a foul, and the basket will count. Handed four of seven from three-point range. He has 14 points to lead the Panthers. He started earlier in the year when Anthony James was out on suspension. Oh, how about that? Sims Edwards does it again. Ben Jacobson is living. Tuttle finds an opening. Runs into the defender. And an offensive foul is called on Seth Tuttle. And who draws it other than Enriquez Sims Edwards. The senior from Washington, Illinois, having quite an afternoon here. One that he'll remember for sure, especially if Bradley can get this win. I had a nice visit with him at the shoot around today and asked about leadership. Being a he'll senior, he said, it's me. And, oh! oh. 
Edwards hits a career high with 28. He's unconscious from three. Five threes. All in the second half. He is five of six this afternoon's game. Career high 28 for Dyrica Sims Edwards, 11 of 15 from the floor. A perfect five of five. He's the only one to take a three here in the second half for Bradley. Five of five in the second half, five of six for the game. Seniors step up this time of year when they start to see the end of the season, kind of over the hump. Now you're in February. Sims Edwards, a 70% free throw shooter. He has 29 points, cutting the lead to four. Sometimes that basket just looks like a hula hoop, right? It does to this young man tonight. He has hit some tough shots too, Tom. They've been people in his face. Our players of the game, a presentation of Coventry Healthcare. Visit CoventryHealthcare.com for more information. Health, wellness, Coventry Healthcare. Matt Bohannon with an impressive afternoon, 14 points, knocking down four threes. He was lighting it up until Dyrikas Sims Edwards went wild from outside. What a performance by the senior. Uh, Washington High School here near Peoria. He was on fire in the groove. Every way you can describe it. Number 32 there. Like it seems, Edward, that, that, you, you said it, Tom, that basket looked huge. And now Seth Tuttle at the line. 76% free throw shooter for the Panthers. He has really improved his free throw shooting over a year ago when he was Valley Freshman of the Year. Tuttle with the make. Northern Iowa was up by 19 at the half. Bradley went on a 14-0 run, cut it to five. Northern Iowa went back on top by 14, and that's when Dyrica Sims Edwards made this his personal shooting display. Going to sophomore Tuttle, those are two tough free throws now. Four-point game for Northern Iowa. Bradley's got to score quick and then try to make a steal. Basket by Sims Edwards. No one out The shot clock is off. And James is fouled by Sims Edwards, who is limping and looks like he's cramped up on his right leg. 32 points for him. That's all made by Doug McDermott, though. It started with a great defensive play from Echenique, and McDermott tracks his own miss down. And Managa, who's shooting lights out from three, buries it. Sims Edwards is good. Craig leading this one, eight to four, 17, 20 to go here in the first half. Gotta feel good for, if you're a Jays fan in this one with Doug shooting the ball so well early, it seems like of late he's come on in the second half with the heavy points, but doing it early here for the Blue Jays. And Sims Edwards knocks down a triple. He's a thousand point scorer, capable guy. You would think with it, he registered his first ever double-double on Wednesday. You would think with the, the amount of shooters and quality shooters that Creighton has that he would have those numbers almost each and every night. Yeah, he doesn't have to do anything overly complicated to make difficult plays. He just has to get in the paint, feed the post, and find the shooters toe in the arc. This Blue Jay basketball team is one of the best three-point shooting teams I've ever seen in my years of being around college basketball. Number one in the country in three-point shooting percentage. And they've already knocked down six triples here in the first half. Creighton on a 9-2 run over the last 245. And there's Dyrikis Sims Edwards knocking down a follow-away jumper. And they'll make, take and make tough shots. Lemon Jr. and Sims Edwards will. Lemon Jr. coming off a career high 27 points earlier this week against Illinois State. Maniga, hammer, no foul call. Back the other way goes Sims Edwards. Lemon Jr. finishes with the right. 
Great execution for Greg McDermott. There's Sims Edwards streaking to the basket, laying it up and in. Good attack off the pick and roll with Chapman now in the double figures. As they always got to respect McDermott when they set a ball screen. And they'll have to stay attached to him. And that's where Chapman's got to stay aggressive because he's going to have lanes. Sims Edwards leaning in, getting one to rattle in. It's a tough matchup for Managa just because Sims Edwards is, is a kind of a big, beefy guy. And Managa is a long, lanky guard. So it's tough for him to keep him out of the paint. Naismith, award watch list just this week. McDermott was added to the Oscar Robertson trophy watch list. Simza Edwards, the nice play off the glass. And Chinike with a nice finish. Thought he got fouled. He's getting beat up down low. Gregory in the double figures though. 10 points as Simza Edwards, nothing but net on that three point attempt. Bradley University head coach, Gino Ford, said, Dyrikas has had a great senior year. It's awfully rare for a player to dominate games both offensively and defensively, and he's done that. I thought he should be a good defender, meaning he's hard to score on. I never thought he'd go out and break a 30-year-old school steals record. And he's doing it without us pressing. That's incredible. I can't imagine the number of steals he'd have if we had the depth and athleticism to press. He's found a way to adapt to what our team has and needs.